Who are these guys? Just look at your favorite streamers. Fortnite doesn't even look like the same game and neither do the players. If you had a time machine, you could probably outbuild any of them. Look at the streamers now. They build faster. They loot faster. They shoot faster. They never hesitate. They make better decisions. Fortnite squad. They have better game sets. Overall, they are just better. How in the world are you going to compete with these guys? There was a period of time in Fortnite where building was secondary. Everyone's favorite building battle royale was more reminiscent of an FPS. The player with the better shot usually won. Players had no idea what a 90 was and would normally just build ramps to protect themselves. Fortnite players have clearly evolved and three specific things led to it. The growing prize pools, ninja's rising popularity, and playground mode. Fortnite exploded into the competitive gaming scene. From the start, you could earn hundreds of thousands of dollars in tournament play. Fortnite has some of the biggest prize pools of any video game. While the winner skirmish was a meme, it actually had open qualifiers, so anyone could join. While this is a pipe dream for many, it's still possible. Just the chance at winning money will attract thousands of players. Money gives the motivation for each player to actually practice and improve as a player. All for one common goal. For casual players, it's a different story. It's hard to pinpoint when building became integral to the game, but it's easy to pinpoint when Fortnite became a phenomenon. March 14th will live in Twitch infamy. Ninja was a popular streamer who originally played Halo. He had the chance to play with Drake. Most know the rest. Ninja topped out with 600,000 viewers, breaking Twitch records in the process. Ninja gained about 30,000 subs and in one night became the face of Fortnite. So what's the importance of this? Everyone knew about Ninja, but March 14th changed the perception of gaming. Every kid that watches Ninja wants to be Ninja. They emulate him and he knows it. March 14th was the rise of the casual player. Everyone is getting better. A casual player now is so much better than a casual player just six months ago. Players watch Ninja and want to play like him. They watch his builds and practice. Ninja is also a very educational streamer, providing everyone with tips and tricks to help their own gameplay. With such a large audience, it's no wonder that the average player has gotten so much better. Now, building is integral to Fortnite. Winning is almost impossible if you don't know how to build. For practicing competitive players, the high skill cap is a fantastic development. For newer players, the high skill cap is challenging to say the least. Professional players keep pushing boundaries. With each passing day, new ways to outbuild your opponent develop. For example, the common pushing method is now a ramp, floor, then wall. Players now do 90s with floors to protect and push themselves higher. Don't even get me started on every single cone technique. Even editing is an art form now. Players edit incredibly fast and can style on everyone that can. The best part? Everyone could practice these techniques in playground mode. The biggest reason for the rising skill cap is this fairly new playground mode. With the unlimited mats and time, you could learn and practice any technique you want. If you actually want to get better at building, you have all the tools. You just have to invest some time. The rising skill cap is nothing new. Streamers comment on it all the time. You could see it in your games as well. Players know what they are doing now. They can build with the best of them, and some can outshoot anyone. For newer players, this is a problem. Companies want an influx of new players. These players help keep the game alive, while streamers help educate these new players. One of the main complaints from players trying to get into Fortnite is the building. Professional FPS players thrown into Fortnite will not succeed. Shooting is not enough. Building is just too important with too many people knowing what to do. They drop into a game, get frustrated from losing to sweaty building players, and leave. Fortnite might soon have a problem with their new players. It's frustrating to die repeatedly, never having a chance to get better. Some don't have the will to get better, others just don't care enough. They'll just quit the game. The boundary to enter Fortnite has never been higher. A new player would have no idea where to start. Everyone is outbuilding them, and it's almost impossible to get better just by fighting. While there are certainly ways to improve, it just seems like an incredibly difficult task. A common change that people want to implement comes from the pop-up cup. The ability to regen life or shield after a kill. I get it, the playstyle is so much fun and it rewards aggressive players. 
I want this change too. However, it would prove disastrous for new players, making the game even harder for them. The only chance new players have at getting a kill right now is fighting someone with lower health or shield. With this change, that would almost never happen. Aggressive players would almost always be full health, giving them more safety in every game. Fortnite needs ranked play. Some sort of ranked queue or mode will allow players of the same skill level to compete with each other. Pro players and casual players alike would welcome the change. Ranked play would give competitive players something to strive for while still allowing casual players the chance to succeed. Even if Epic doesn't want a ranked system, they should still provide a mode that only new players can join. Maybe take a tip from other games such as Hearthstone. Make new players only play a specific mode until they reach a certain amount of kills. Once they get better at the game, they can be allowed to join the regular pool of players. Fortnite is in a great spot right now. It's the most popular game in the United States with its popularity only getting bigger. Everyone is getting better at the game while still having fun. But Epic seems to have forgotten about the new player. With a couple of new tweaks, they can make the game better for everyone involved, new and competitive players alike. I'm Tim from Pro Guides. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you think ranked play is a good or bad idea. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel.